And I got home one day and I've got a package on my front porch from eBay, which I did not order. Jill so thought it was just a mix up, mm -hmm. but the next day when she found a notice telling her to pick up another package, she got suspicious and spoke to the post office clerk. Is there a way to stop packages from coming to my house? Something's going on. Turns out thieves stole her identity, opened an eBay account in her name and began ordering online with the intent of picking up the packages before she retrieved them. And just by chance they missed two. Jill discovered the woman who stole her identity, Stacy Wallen, was part of a house painting crew she hired years earlier. Wallen and her crew knew Carlson's schedule, which was why they were able to grab packages from her home without anyone noticing. It, it became more personal at that point. The anger level just was intense. Though Jill didn't lose any money, the damage done to her credit was devastating. I did have major problems with my credit report because all of a sudden you're late with a payment. They stole um, credit card statements out of my mailbox. They stole credit reports out of my mailbox. It took me probably over a year to start rebuilding my credit. The process is not easy. It's amazing how hard it is for you to prove that you're the actual person. It's easier for them to change your records than it is for you to go back and prove that you are who you are. Prosecutors, both federal, state, and local, and the judicial officers have realized that identity theft is not a victimless crime. It impacts the very fabric of the American economy. Postal inspectors say ID theft is growing at an alarming rate and can happen to anyone. Many of these victims can't afford this, and one act of identity theft can impact their life. They can't pay for a child's education. They can't get credit.